come on down, register to vote. Have your voice change the country. No vote, no voice. It's Mother's Day in Newcastle and today we are registering mums to vote. So it's a beautiful sunny day, we've got these lovely flowers. Uh, anyone who registers to vote or is already registered can have a flower. It's a damn good idea because there's too many you people don't bother. Um, and it'd just be great if we could get a few more. I'm just strolling through town and then was handed a flower by uh, a lovely young lady and uh, drew my attention to this bus. Uh, so we're currently registering to vote. We've got to live here, we should have a say in what you know, in, in kind of who's calling the shots for us, you know. We've got the power to vote, we've got the right to vote, you know, we need to use it. No vote, no voice. No vote, no voice. No, I've not voted before, yeah. um, but I think oh, right. it's just quite important to vote, really. I don't think, like, cause the amount of people that don't vote, we can swing the election quite big, so I think it's important. My name is Ben, and I just registered to vote. A lot of younger people don't really know the sort of pros and cons of benefit, uh, voting what they're entitled to, and I didn't know they changed the law just now, which I've just learned, so every day's a school day. I'm already registered to vote in London, um, but I live up in Newcastle now, so it was more just sort of saving the time to go online, having to read it, or I've just sort of popped it in. It just sort of saves me like a lot of hassle on the way back from work. Come down today to show support to the uh, No Vote, No Voice. There's a million people not registered to vote and we've got to make sure they've got the say. What we've seen today is, is loads of different people, disabled people, different colours, different races, all, all getting involved and all need to make sure they've got the say and registered to vote. No vote, no voice. I'm a great believer in the vote. I think everybody should get out there and vote. I'm lucky because I've got a postal vote, so it's quite easy, easy for me and I, I make sure I exercise that vote. The amount of people that don't vote and then, are, then complain about how it's working, it's like, well, you can't really have an opinion if you didn't vote. A huge part of having the massive bus is even if we don't physically register people now, like, it's it's brought it to the front of their consciousness. Someone said to me today, he was like, let's start a revolution by not voting. And it just doesn't really work because you're just disappearing. It's really nice to have such an optimistic um, ending to the tour that we've had. It's been pretty amazing. Uh, we've been in about 30 different towns and cities over the last two weeks. Uh, we've been registering people on the street, but also having a kind of huge digital campaign that the Mirror's been running, um, just trying to get get this message to people that by April the 20th you've got to be registered, otherwise you won't be able to take part in what could be the most important um, election in a generation. Yeah.